Om Shanti, welcome back. Today we are doing the recording of 27th of August, Godly Blessing. And here Supreme Godfather wants us to be content. Now the biggest secret about contentment is that when you are content, I am not talking about just saying that I am content. When you are feeling content, that is the most important thing. It should come from your heart. It should be in your feelings at every moment. Nothing in the outside world should affect you, even for a single bit. I am talking about that amount of pure contentment. So when you are in that state of contentment, then you become that pure, living, attractive personality who attracts abundance automatically. Think about it. Think about all the great philosophers. Even if you think about the father of Christianity, Lord Jesus Christ. If you think about the father of Buddhism, Lord Buddha. If you think about even Lakshmi and Narayan, who were completely adorned with all the jewels and even the crown, golden crown. Do you think they ever felt discontented? Especially Lord Jesus Christ, Gautam Buddha, they were the ones who renounced majority of the things. And see what has that led to. Huge religious organizations where there is no dearth of any financial lack. There is always abundance. So what do we need to do in our life? We need to be in that state of contentment right now, right here at this moment. In this time, in this space. And that's where we are always going to be in happiness and everything comes to us automatically. We don't need to rush or run behind it. So let's explore a few things over here, a few fundamentals of spirituality which Supreme Court Father is teaching us. God says, may you finish all limited desires with the treasure of contentment and become a constant jewel of contentment. What does that mean? It says, those who have the treasure of contentment have everything. That's a fact. You can see a richy rich who is looking and eyeing somebody else with envy or jealousy has everything around him, which you might think you might, if you had all those things, you would be very, very content and happy. No. Why isn't that person content and happy then, who is feeling jealous and envious of the other person? The fact is, the richness follows us for a certain period of time when we are content, when we are working hard. We have an aim, we have a goal, we have certain things which we want to give back to the society, add value to the society. But when we reach a level of complete body consciousness, that means we forget our aim, we forget the aim, the objective, and we forget giving back to society. We want and want and want and want and desire more. That's the time the universe says, the energies in the world say, your limit has exceeded. Now the time for down cycle starts. So discontentment means down cycle. Contentment means moving up. God then says, those who are content with just a little experience having all attainments. Whereas for those who are not content, even though they have everything, it is as though they have nothing. This is the law. If you think about yourself as a spiritual energy being, a spark, an infinite being, then you actually don't need anything in the physical world. Just a little bit of food to eat, water to drink, sunlight, a roof over your head and nothing more than that. Everything else is accumulation. Now, God then says, this is because a discontented soul is constantly influenced by desires because when one desire is fulfilled, ten more desires would arise. Therefore, be ignorant of limited desires you can have unlimited desires about serving other people about helping other people in that everything else follows the money the name the fame everything else follows even if you don't want it it will follow you even more why because you're helping out the world you're helping out the society you're helping out human souls lift them up make them connected to themselves and then the rest of the things will follow you but if you have limited desires first on your list that if I do this, I'll get that. If I do this, I'll get that name, that fame, that title, the money, the check. Then it's going to be a hard journey. It's going to be a discontented journey at every single step because we'll be measuring everything with the intellectuality which 
we have been blessed with right but god wants us to work from the heart less from here when we're working from the heart automatically ideas come but when you're working totally to your through your intellect the heart somewhere shrinks that means the feelings shrink you become more and more analytical more and more desire filled more and more discontented and god wants us to take that different route over here therefore be ignorant of limited desires and you will then be called a jewel of contentment and then you see your life changing then you see your world changing then you see how you will actually live every moment your face will look younger your eyes will feel complete calmness and serenity within them and the way you talk will not be too fast because you want to do something to impress others you will be talking with a lot of weightage of wisdom calmness and you will be talking less think about it when you're content how will you act imagine it and let me know in the comments with this om shanti